Yo, what's good guys? My name is Cruxel. I'm gonna keep this intro very short. This is a comprehensive guide to this week's extended featured run in the Chaos Chambers on Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. This just came out with the new DLC one. And in this guide is going to be the location of every quartz, every crystal skull, every single upgrade you could possibly get so you can get the most optimized run and not miss a single thing. So let's hop into it. Okay, starting on room number one, your main enemy type is gonna be trolls on this map. And your goal is to finish enemies while standing within the sacred ground honestly on these types of objectives i usually pass it up but if you want to be patient with the new mob spawning rate it's not too bad to stand inside these circles and get some kills to get that side mission on this level there is one quartz which can be found immediately within the ship that you are looking at as soon as you spawn just head to the left there and you can get some free progress slash crystals from that and then either during this encounter or after you finish everybody off there are two skulls located on this map to either side of the wrecked ship the first one is actually within the wrecked ship here you can see me shooting it and the second one is located to the waterfall to the right of the wreck ship and those crystals are going to come in clutch as you're buying upgrades throughout your run and when choosing a curse from the dragon lord i would choose the critical connoisseur personally as it just makes things a lot simpler throughout your run now on to room two i am not going to make specific you should make this elite or you shouldn't make this elite recommendations especially now that there are 35 chaos levels it is very build dependent i recommend you trying this all out without making an elite first to make sure that you can get through it and then if it's not challenging enough or you want to go for the maximum amount of crystals, making every room elite will get you a return on your investment and then some. But yeah, there's my rundown on that. I would choose the Butt Stallion portal, head into room two here where you're going to be fighting against cultists and mushrooms. The mission on this room is to destroy the Dragon King statue. Very straightforward. Just do some damage on that along the way. We'll get you some good bonus crystals there. And there are zero quartz on this level, but one single skull, which is located to the right of where you are going to be taking to teleport picking up your final power-ups right under the scaffolding that this collector is actually sitting on is the skull shoot that and you'll get some free bonuses there on to room three i would choose the purple chest for the portal and you're going to be basically going against the lalance mini boss there is zero skulls and zero quartz on pretty much every single mini boss level so don't worry about that but this is a place to get upgrades especially gun damage and reload speed are ones that i would prioritize especially as you're getting higher up in the chaos levels just to make sure that you know you're killing everybody very quickly and efficiently very straightforward there room four is going Going to be the purple chest portal that you're going to want to take and you are fighting against coiled serpents and dogfish in this room there are zero quartz available but there are two skulls one is located inside the cave here if you look on the roof of the cave you will see the skull very straightforward and the other is to the left of that the left of your spawn right outside the entrance to this building you will see the skull located up in the corner of the wall shoot that and you'll get some free crystals from both of those and for those of you going for the maker or the secret raid bosses, you can activate the yellow rune, which is located here. Remember, there's three of these. I would skip them if you're just trying to be efficient and or don't have a super OP build to get through all four bosses. As you enter room five, I would choose the Butt Stallion portal once again, just to get those free buffs along the way. Really helps out with speed and efficiency. You're fighting against shrooms and Iclops enemies, and the goal is to finish before the timer, which is very straightforward. Just shred through everybody that you can, and hopefully you'll get it in time. There is one quartz to help you out with your speed here, which is located in the opposite end of the map. In the very back, you will see it located as such. Kill that Coiled Centuria and you will get some free bonuses to your progress, as well as there is one skull located in this kind of room off to the side. You will see the location here. Go ahead and shoot that. Free crystals. Now, as for room six, you are going to be fighting up against another mini boss here. This one is Freezicles and he is accompanied by a bunch of pirates. Again, there are no crystals or quartz on this location or runes, but if you want to get some further upgrades to help you out in your run, I definitely recommend choosing from the eight to 10 that spawn, I believe, once you finish this round. Very straightforward. Moving on into room seven, you're going to want to choose the golden chest portal. You're fighting against goblins and cyclops enemies, and your goal again is to finish before the time runs out. There are zero quartz on this level and one skull, which I will show right now. It is located on the top right of the map on the scaffolding. You will see the skull located off map just behind where the receptacle is located. Super easy there, and you can travel out of the map. Before you do that, though, there is the blue rune located directly to the right of your portals here in case you want to activate that for the maker. Again, skip if you want to be efficient. 
Okay, for roommate, you're gonna wanna choose the Butt Stallion Portal, and your goal on this map is to finish enemies while standing inside the sacred ground. Again, this is a little bit slower, but with the new mob density, it's not as bad. There are two quartz available on this map. One is located directly behind you when you spawn, and the other is located in the very center of the map on the bottom floor, kind of under one of the buildings here, you will see it located. Again, those just give you bonus crystals from those big enemies and really help with the progress bar going faster, but you are probably not killing them in the sacred ground, so it's up to you. Besides those two quartz, there is one skull you can activate as well, which is located in the very back of the map. If you go under the roof here, you can see it. That one took me a little bit to find. Now, as you head into the next world, it is... Now, as you head into the next level, it doesn't give you a choice. It is the boss fight. You are going up against Vorkinar here. You guys can find guides on him, I'm sure. Basically, focus on the orange critical orbs on either side of him, and as you break them, you have to move on to the next ones. Super straightforward. So, unlike the previous runs, this is an extended run, so therefore, there are more rooms after that first boss room number 10 here you're going to want to choose the golden chest portal and the goal is to defend the butt stallion statue these ones are super easy you're basically just killing a bunch of goblins and crabs on this map there are zero quartz unfortunately but there is one crystal skull which is located on the corner of the map over here you can see the skull directly off map as well as the green rune is on this map if you would like to activate that raid boss as well Activating this, the blue rune from room 7, and the yellow rune from room 4 will allow you to fight the maker. Again, skip this if you want to be efficient. I know I sound like a broken record here, sorry. Moving on to the next room, you're going to want to choose the purple chest portal. Unfortunately, this does not include a free mimic room this week. It turns out they're not going to do that every week. But the goal here is to destroy the dragon lord statue. You're fighting against skeletons and sharks. Very straightforward here. No quartz to help you out on this map, but there is one skull located in the back. You can see it in the marketplace here. Just simply go behind the counter shoot the skull and there's some nice free crystals for you for some free loot and now heading into the next room the final room here again there is no choice there is actually two boss fights in this run and unfortunately this next one does take a long time simply due to the immortal phases or whatever they're called so you're fighting against daryl you know how to fight him you basically shred him out there's three different phases try to not get distracted by the coiled centurions and just use them as ads for when you go down and you should get through that fight very easily after this is all said and done you're finally done with the run you can go in and enjoy your spoils this one obviously is not quite as time efficient as last week's but i do want to make these every week for you all just so you have the locations of all the items you know for those of you that don't mind the extra little bit of time just for the consistency of knowing that there's a certain amount of crystals you're gonna get blah 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 you know you can fight the maker every time there is not that rng element to it so hopefully this does help out some of you if you enjoyed this video or it helped you out make sure to share it with friends of yours that might be playing wonderlands wondering how to make some quick loot and good amount of crystals and everything uh, for the chaos chambers i do have another guide coming out later today so make sure you guys check that out as well and i appreciate you watching consider checking out the twitch if you want to watch me streaming tiny tinas this new dlc looks super hype and i can't wait to grind on chaos 35 anyways my name is crux and i'll see you guys in the next one thanks for watching